Hey y'all, it's John, and welcome to my private roller coaster I just bought. So why are we on a roller coaster today? Because I'm going to show you an ETF you can use to get weekly gains of 1%. Yes, you can make 1% per week wheeling this ETF, but your portfolio might look like a roller coaster up and down, up and down, and maybe loop-de-loop. -loop. So what is this ETF that we can use to gain 1% per week wheeling? And of course, none of this is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor like my channel name knowledge so the etf we can use to gain one percent per week is tqqq triple leverage qqq now you can see tqqq has been on a rip like qqq right now early three months ago about 21 dollars, and now we're at 35 so my proof of work i want to say is the spreadsheet that's for free that i showed in the last video you can download and i'll put it up here you can see since november i have been wheeling TQQQ for weekly 1% gains. So how am I calculating this? I've been doing it from November all the way till 515. So today is Wednesday, so I'm not going to get the full premium. You can see I have two days left. So let's actually jump ahead to June 16th so you can see the full idea. So what I'm doing with TQQQ is all I'm doing is whatever collateral I have to put up. So let's say $33 or $32. I'm trying to collect 1% of that total position. So you can see with a $32 strike price of selling a put, I can collect $33. Technically it's nine days out, but it'll still apply for a seven day, just a different strike price. All I'm literally doing, let me pull up my calculator, is if I have to put up $3,200 worth of collateral, I'm figuring out what a percent of that is. So that'd be 32 bucks, right? So wheeling TQQQ at the current share price, I could collect a percent by next week for selling a put. And you can do this every single week. You can collect 1% per week selling puts on TQQQ. Now, what's the difficulty of this? Why is this dangerous? One, it's a triple leverage ETF, so it's highly volatile. Now, the past three months, this would have been great. You know, you would have got to sign a couple times, but you would have been on a tear up. But if we look at a larger picture of the year, there would have been major drawdown down periods that you probably wouldn't have been able to avoid. Let's say in August, you probably would have got assigned right around the August 24th and you would have been down and then you probably would have been down again and you would have been down. So half your portfolio would have just been gone, right? But in certain periods of sideways chop, like I was anticipating, you can wheel 1% per week. Now, you can see my last wheel position was on 515 and I collected a lot of premium this time. I was doing four to up to five contracts, you can see. Why did I stop wheeling TQQQ? I'm just scared now, to be honest. It feels overextended. QQQ's on a rip. Now I know the market can stay more irrational than I can stay solvent. So I'm kind of stepping away from this position as of now because I was wheeling from, you can see this period, all the way up to about this area in May, and then we got on the giant rip, right? So we were in a chopping block. We were going sideways. So for me, TQQQ was perfect to wheel in that time period. I didn't know if it was going to go up. I didn't know if it was going to go down. It just seemed like the perfect chopping block just to collect premiums up and down, up and down, up and down, right? So you can do this with TQQQ, easily collect 1% per week if you have the balls, if you have proper management for your trades. You can make a lot of money. I mean, if you did this every week, you'd have 52% in a year, right? And you can sell the calls for juicy premiums as well, as we can see on the option chain. If I wanted to sell a call even two days out, you know, I could select a couple dollars up and still make 12 bucks for not having that much cash. And if I went nine days out, if I wanted to collect a percent, I could sell it about $3 higher and collect almost a percent plus 300 bucks if I just bought it now with the strike price. So you can make tons of money doing this, but there's a lot of volatility and there's a lot of risk doing this. You can also do this with SPXL, the triple leveraged spy fund, right? So this one's still kind of in the chopping block. So maybe that's a little better to trade XPXL options with. Let's go to nine days. I know not exactly a weekly, but we're recording on Wednesday. And you can go down about three bucks and still collect a percentage on this fund. And you would have a 78% chance basically of profit, a 78% chance that you're not going to get assigned selling a put. So this was my secret sauce for November all the way to May. So about six months, this was my secret sauce collecting a percent per week on my small portfolio that I was experimenting with TQQQ. So 
if you have the balls, try this out. Let me know how it goes. I'm just not ballsy enough to do that anymore. I don't know where the market's going to go. You never really know. And it's a little overextended for my personal preference. So I'm just going to keep buying SPLG, the S&P 500, like planning and selling covered calls on that as expected. That's going to be my strategy from now. But if you want to try this out, please let me know how it goes in the comments. Again, I have a full spreadsheet right here to track your wheel trades. That's the same one I use on this. So you guys can use it for your own wheel management as well. If you like the video, click the like button, click subscribe down below. See you all next week. Peace.